All right, next up, uh, I've asked uh, Wes to talk about uh, service contracts, hardware and software. What do you get when you order a service contract? What are your expectations? Uh, would be some of the things that you should share back with him. Please tell me that. All right. Get the clicker then. Down arrow. Down arrow. Yeah. Backwards from the two. All right. So, Wes Kirk, I was originally a field service technician at one point. Moved up to consultant engineer fairly recently, and even more recently, moved into the field service management position here at Eric's uh, semi retired. Uh, so I help customers out putting new systems, replacement hardware, analyzers, but also I help quoting uh, our various services that we offer. And those service contracts are what I'd like to talk about now. So we have three main uh, service contracting types. That would be maintenance, software support, and electronic data reporting contract. And there's actually two subsets under that, or assistance services. So our maintenance contracts, what you get is an on-site visit one of our field service technicians. They come to your site, help uh, text out with whatever maintenance needs uh, need to be done during whatever order they come to site. And the scope and frequency of those is largely determined by the maintenance plan detailed in the site QA manual and also the on and manual. Uh, and frequency is determined largely by the level they can choose. We offer three levels of maintenance contracts. That would be the annual, semi annual, and quarter. Annually, being once a year, semi annually, twice per year, quarterly, being once every quarter. Uh, so, the annual might make more sense for a site with fairly experienced technicians who know the tenants uh, in and out. They know how to do all the audits already and are good at doing maintenance tests on their own. However, if they wanted us to come on site, look the systems over, do whatever maintenance needs to be done, make sure the sim is in good working order, working correctly, then that might be a good option. Uh, on the other end, uh, the techs are somewhat on the newer side, not as familiar with the SIMS. It's some help getting started with uh, maintenance tasks and whatnot. Then maybe a quarterly uh, contract might be the better off. Uh, and then also, to help you decide which one, we offer a progressive discount based on the level. The annual would be base pricing. Semi annual, you have a 5% discount and another 5% on top of that if you choose the quarter. Uh, one thing to note our base contracts do not include CDAs or linearities. Uh, we can offer those at uh, extra cost. Um, That would be something we can even off that we can help on. Uh, moving on from hardware, on next to software. Oh, so first of all, let me, uh, I think, uh, here is uh, one of the example schedules out of the on and manual. Uh, this shows uh, tasks based on a quarter by quarter basis. Say if uh, you got the annual maintenance contract. We would skip straight to this month 12 here for every single box of maintenance task needed. That would include up to rebuilding the probes, uh, even up to cleaning the sample lines, depending on your process. Uh, 
if you went with a semi-annual contract, we would then just do month six into month 12. We basically opt for the highest level of maintenance depending on how often we go to the site. Then at quarterly, we always call it the schedule as listed. In some, here are some of the maintenance procedures that we have to do. However, there's an, another list similar to this with maintenance tests. Uh, we like to test the alarm, uh, things like that, to make sure everything is working properly. Exercise flow meters, different things like that. Uh, and then, like I said, early moving from hardware to software. Our next contract type would be software support. Uh, with this, you get a uh, phone as well as potentially remote support. You can call us with any legal concerns, questions, problems. Uh, we can help you out with those. Say you, if you have a communications error or something isn't reporting quite right. Uh, you can always call us up and we'll be there for uh, any support you need. Uh, also included in the software support contract would be any uh, minor version upgrades. Uh, so we're currently in CDAR 7.24, somewhere around there. Uh, 7.25 would be most likely a free upgrade. Uh, some major updates such as CDR 5 and 6, CDR uh, 6 and 7 have been included in software support contracts for free in the past. However, with CDR 4, that would require a major database upgrade. So the amount of work, time involved, and that would be extensive. And so we, you would have to come to us for a quote for that. That would not be included in the software support contract. Uh, next up uh, included would be software configuration changes. If you have, say, a limit change, or if you want something to display somewhat differently on your admissions table, you can contact, contact us and we'll be able to help you out getting that updated. Uh, so it would be custom report building. Uh, we do have a wizard, but if you don't want to bother, we can always help you build a custom report. Based on what you need to see. 375X updates, that's our part 75 reporting tool, those are included in the software. And lastly, EDR assistance, which brings me to my That's our electronic data reporting contract. Uh, these are part of part 75. Quarterly requirement uh, where you have to submit reporting and QA documents to the uh, Admission Collection and Monitoring Plan System or AC MPS. Uh, then we have two levels offered under these EDR contracts and that is assistance and services, as I said earlier. So EDR assistance, this is limited support. Uh, you can contact us with questions, uh, anything you need to get help with uh, building reports, pulling data, submitting the exam. Yes, however, you're still required to do a large part of the work. Uh, so this is available on annual and quarterly options. This time annually being every four quarters, all four quarters. The quarterly option is uh, one point. Um, this is good option for uh, new users of ECMPS, those with more knowledge, uh, so we can help you get through according to uh, EA. Uh, if you're more inexperienced, with this, or you're having a unique scenario such as uh, like my analyzer exchange, you might want to go with our EDR services. That is where we do everything for you, basically. We do the heavy lifting. Uh, 
So we would be involved with data retrieval, evaluation, uh, verification of all your QA tests. Uh, we would then build the XML um, files, submit them to the UPS, review it in there, make sure there's no major errors. And then once that's all done, we would give back so you for formal submission to the DPA to the DCMPS. Uh, this would be good for new users who aren't quite sure what to do yet. We can take care of it for you. Or if you don't have time potentially, don't want to deal with the hassle, it would be a good option. Again, uh, in a quarter with a unique, unique scenario, such as an analyzer replacement, some replacement, not quite sure what to do with the reporting. We can step in and help you out during that quarter. Uh, that would be ER services. Uh, so that includes all of our services. Uh, so if you need to get in contact with us, you can either email me or orders, and we'd be happy to give you a quote for any of these options. If you're interested in pricing of the different uh, versions, don't hesitate to give us an email. Uh, be happy to help you out, keep your systems running smoothly. Any questions? <laughs>